Behind me are three of the best trailers in the landscaping game. Everybody wants one and I'm gonna show you one by one what makes the green one special, what makes the orange one special, a lot of people sleep on this one, and what makes that one special. Let's go with this one first. So this is a B-Wise dump trailer. It's very fancy. This is the tarp. That tarp closes. I need assistance right now. This are foldable slides. They pop down and you have access. Instead of going this high, you go this high. The axles are fantastic. These are two 8,000 pound axles. Bam, bam. Custom tires. These are G-Plaid tires. They're almost semi-truck tires. They're very thick. This is a door. Well, no fucking shit. It has a hinge point. This hinges, this hinges. So if you wanna dump, you open this door this way. If you wanna load equipment, you open it this way. You never have to mess with ramps. <laughs> this is one of the best trailers for moving equipment. No ramps. Now, I'm gonna show you what these ramps are. Ramps are a pain in the ass. This trailer has ramps. You open this, and ramps live in here. Is this a good offer? It is, but it's a pain in the ass if you're loading stuff in and out, because these things are heavy. Each ramp is probably like 150 pounds, because they're all made out of steel. And when you wanna go put them away, you gotta do this. So it's a whole ordeal. Versus this guy right here. Let us demonstrate how this works. This is the all-time best operator in the world, Randy. A lot of you know him. Dun, 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 dun. Randy's a giver. I'm a giver. He's a giver. I am. But that's okay, it's Christmas. I have a little gift for you. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm like. <laughs> First, we must come over here. I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. If you wanna load equipment into this trailer, you have to open this this way. So, see that? Now this door can open. I'm gonna show you some magic right here. Come here. By a push of a button, take it away. See? Loading equipment is a breeze, a dream, and it's so easy. Randy, isn't this the best trailer to load equipment? Yeah. Caterpillar excavators. Easy. Spear, ditch witch. Easy. easy. Yeah. The orange trailer is a little harder. Still easy, but not as easy as this. Now, you load all your stuff in here. Your machine is in here. Now you go ahead and close the door. Out of the way. Pretty soon we're gonna be trapped. But, not to worry, door closed. This is the beauty of this trailer, and there's two of them. There's this one and that one. Now, watch this. Let's say we wanna open the trailer and we wanna go dump some material. We have a bunch of garbage, some turds. We flip a switch. This is the hinge point now. So the trailer cannot open this way. It has to open this way. See that? Now, we're able to dump materials this way. Imagine I'm a piece of garbage. I know for a lot of you watching, that's not hard to imagine. But you want to dump, right? Boom. Let's dump it. All right, we're not going to go all the way because this trailer might flip, but you get the idea. This opens, the garbage goes out, but here is one flaw that you must know. Imagine you're a piece of garbage inside there, and there's trees and concrete and sticks and shrubs and grass. The only problem is if you load the trailer up too high here, when the garbage is coming down, it always gets stuck at this gate. And we've had this happen more than not, especially with sticks. So not the best offer, but if you're doing dirt, concrete, materials that are low, it's good. Check this out. Look at this storage. We never use this, no. even though we should. But this is a great storage and you have a spare tire right there. And I purchased these custom. These are called fork holders. These are badass. Check this out. Now we're closing the door. Okay, these hooks right here, make sure the gate doesn't open. So, advantage of this trailer, easy to load, but kind of a pain in the ass when you wanna dump sticks and shit. Now this trailer right here is the exact same trailer. Now, we're gonna tell you the benefits of the orange one. By the way, if you're wondering why I have all these three lined up, I'm giving all of these away June 3rd to everybody in Goking. All you have to do is show up to San Jose, California and take the trailer home. Now, I'm gonna tell you why this is one of my favorite trailers and a lot of people sleep on it. Let's say, Randy, how's this open? Oh, see, I'm subprimal. Randy, you have some explaining to do. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Whose is this? Avina? <laughs> Who was it? Randy. Okay, so imagine you're a piece of garbage in here and you wanna dump the trash. It's easy. All of you know how this trailer works. It just dumps. But the only flaw of these trailers, which I and everybody else will know, is when you dump, sometimes these swing open. And we have broken welds. This is a broken weld, and this is a broken weld. Literally, this door has just fallen off because of the shitty design. That's why Randy engineered these right here. These lock in 
Oh, right here. So every time you dump, you hook this up to that. And under no circumstances do these come out. This is the stupidest and worst design in the entire world. Don't recommend it. And these little jack stands are key. They're pretty badass. What do you like about the orange trailer versus green trailer? I can take more weight. It's a little bit wider and it's just more easier stuff. to handle. Yeah. Yeah. If you had your choice of the lineup, which one are you take? The orange, without a doubt. Wow. I can't believe yeah. it. All right, now let's say you're moving an excavator around. Which one are you taking? Yeah, the orange, so. Still orange? Yeah. Over this? Yeah. I'm actually surprised you said that. Okay, let's go to the front. Now, these trailers are built tough and they're built to last. And I'm actually really surprised that Randy picked this one because out of the three, this is the least expensive. This one was like 17,800. That was 20,000 on the dot. And this one was 19,500, so also 20,000. Pretty much this is $60,000 in trailers. And I know you heard me before, but I'm giving all these three away June 3rd, San Jose, California. Okay, now I know that a lot of you have people working for you and they're good people, but sometimes good people do shitty things Randy didn't do this my other driver did I did a video what he did was he didn't lift this jack all the way up you see the jack right there you have to lift it all the way up before you start driving he did it he lifted it halfway and then when he got to a curb the curb hit the jack this thing completely went like this snapped so I had to buy a brand new jack that ended up costing $2,000. Labor was $1,500. That was a $3,500 fix. Not the best offer, but nonetheless, we had to do it. And now this trailer is very good shape. I bought this, I bought this, I bought this. All three trailers, title in hand. June 3rd, San Jose, California, only in Goking. Show up to blow up. When I first started, my very first piece of equipment I've ever purchased was a truck. Obviously, you cannot do work without a truck like this or a truck like this. Obviously, you don't need a fancy Denali. A 550 would be ideal, but you could get away with a 250, 350, 150, not so much. With these three trailers, you could do so much. My very first piece of equipment besides the truck was a dump trailer. After the dump trailer, I was able to haul stuff, go get materials, go get sand, go get base rock, go get blocks. And most importantly, I could go rent a ditch witch. I could go rent an excavator. Without these dump trailers, landscaping construction is almost impossible because you're constantly having to rent dumpsters and those dumpsters every single time they come deliver to the house five hundred dollars six hundred dollars seven hundred dollars you can buy this thing for twenty thousand all you have to do is pay a dump fee you always have this piece of equipment so you never have to rely on the guy dropping off the dumpster you just have it with you and you can put it on every single job so i have five of these trailers and i'm telling you right now business without these would be impossible and don't just take it from me let's go ask randy randy Question for you. Yeah. Do you think the landscaping business would be possible without a dump trailer? Absolutely not. You need a trailer. Why is this thing important for landscaping? Because you can pick up material, pallets of concrete, flagstone, cinder blocks, pebble, machine, sand. And a lot of people go in a regular F-250 with a six foot bed and they go to the material yard and you see their truck doing this. Yeah. With this, you don't have that. No. This thing's badass. Badass and it hauls perfect. Boom. So, if you don't have one of these trailers and you are looking for one, I'm giving all these three away June 3rd. All you have to do is be in Go King and show up to San Jose, California. I have titles for all three. Three people will be taking them home with them. They're going to hook them up to the truck and drive them. If you don't have a truck, that's fine. You can rent the U-Haul. I'll give you gas money and you can drive it to your house. Boom. Done. This is a fantastic offer, especially if you're new to business. You already are in business. You can never have enough dump trailers because what I do to make sure that we're most efficient at job sites is leave a dump trailer at a address that we're doing. So instead of having a pile of garbage, we have a trailer and while they're accumulating garbage, they put it in the trailer. The key is move things once versus move it twice. What a lot of people do is they take garbage from a site, put it in a pile, and after the pile gets big, they take it from a pile and put it in a dumpster. That's a failing formula. You take the garbage from the site, put it right in the dump trailer, done. You move it once, not twice. Do it nice or you do it twice. Show up to San Jose, California, take these three home. We out here, check this out guys. It's gonna be crazy. That's a trailer, that's a trailer, that's a trailer. Give them all away, June 3rd. I know one of my camera guys is gonna have a baby like three days later, but I decided to schedule it that day. I don't know why. Oh wait, take it away, Tigran. Thanks, moron.